In this video, we're going to learn how to remove all the characters in one string that are found in another string using C. So for example, let's say we have a string. Let's try this out today. And let's also say we have another string of characters that we want to remove from the string. We could call it remove, and we could have the characters A, E, I, O, U. And so what we want our program to do is remove all the characters from this string here that match one of these characters here. We'll create a function to do this. We'll call the function remove cars. And we'll have the function return as an int value the number of characters that were actually removed from the string. The function will also accept the string itself as an argument and the string of characters that we want to remove from the string as an argument as well. Now we'll also include the string.h library that includes the strlen string length function that allows us to find the length of the string. And we'll also include the stdbool.h library that will allow us to create a bool type variable that stores true and false values. Next we can define the function. So we'll copy this. And then down here, we'll provide our definition of the function. So the first thing we'll do is find the length of the string and the length of the remove string using the strlen function. So we'll have here int string length is equal to strlen string. So the strlen string length function is going to return the length of the string, not including the special null terminator character that ends the string. And we'll store that return value into the string length variable we can find the length of the remove string in the same way. We'll have int remove length is equal to strlen remove. We'll also declare and initialize a variable to keep track of the number of characters removed from the string. We'll have here int removed is equal to zero. So the algorithm to solve this problem is going to involve looking at this string here, one character at a time from the first character in the string up until the last character in the string. And what we're going to do is check to see if that character is one of these characters here in the remove string. If it's not one of these characters here, we're actually going to write it back to this string here. We'll use a separate variable to keep track of the index at which we're going to write back the next character. Because we're not going to write back all the characters, we're only going to write back the characters that are not found in the remove string. So let's implement this algorithm now. The first thing we'll do is create a for loop with a counter variable i that's going to go from zero up until the length of the string, incrementing by one each time. So this for loop here is going to use the counter variable i to look at each index in this string one at a time from the first character in the string up until the last character in the string. And what we want to do is check to see if that character is in this string here. We'll use another loop for that. We'll have here a bool variable called inString, and we'll set it to false. So inString is going to keep track of whether or not the character at the index i is in the string remove. We'll use a for loop to go through the characters in the string remove to see if the character in the string at the index i is in that string. We'll have here for int k is equal to zero, k is less than remove length, and then k plus plus. So here in this loop, we're using the counter variable k to check each index of the remove string from the index zero up until the length of the string. And what we'll do is check to see if the character in the string at the index i is equal to the character in the remove string at the index k. So this loop will check to see if any of the characters in the remove string are a match for the character in the string at the index i. And if a matching character is found, we'll set in string to true to signify that the character in the string at the index i is in the remove string. Now if the character in the string at the index i is not in the remove string, in that case, we're going to write it back to the string. But we're going to use a separate variable to keep track of the index at which we're going to write back the next character in the string that is not in the remove string. So we'll have here 
int j is equal to zero. And then down here, we'll have string at the index j is equal to string at the index i. So the index j is where we're going to write the next character in the string that's not found in the remove string. And we're only going to increment j in the case that the character was not found in the remove string. Now, if the character in the string at the index i was found in the remove string, we're not going to increment j, and we're not going to write the character back to the string at the index j. That will have the effect of removing the character from this new version of the string that we're writing back to the string car array itself with the help of the variable j. Now, if the character is being removed from the string, we'll increment removed, our variable that's keeping track of how many characters have been removed from the string. Now, once this outer loop is done its work, we're going to set a potentially new index for the null terminator character in the string car array. We'll have here string at the index j is equal to the special null terminator character that ends the string. And we use the index j because j has kept track of the length of the new string that we've stored into the string car array with the characters removed. Then finally, we can return removed, the number of characters that was removed from the string. So we can save this and try our function out. Up here, we'll have int removed is equal to remove cars, and we'll pass it the string and the remove string as arguments. And we'll store the number of characters removed from the string into the variable removed. So next we can output the string itself after having called the function to remove the characters from the string. And we'll also output removed, the number of characters that were removed from the string. So we'll have removed, percent %d backslash n, and then removed. And if we save compile and run the program, we'll see that our string does have those characters removed. All the lowercase vowel characters are now gone from the string. And for the amount of removed characters, we have six. And if we look at the original string here, there are six lowercase vowels. There's E, I, O, U, O, and A. So our function is working. It is removing the characters and counting the amount of characters removed. And the real trick to understanding how the function works is understanding how the counter variables I and J work. So for example, Let's say that we're looking at this string here, let. So we'll copy this, and then down here we'll have string is let, where we have the indexes 0, 1, and 2. And initially, i is going to be 0, and j is also going to be 0. So we'll have 0 here. Now initially, when we look at this character here, uppercase L, that character is not in our remove string. It's not a lowercase vowel. So in that case, both I and J are going to increment, and we're going to write back L to this index here, zero. In the case of this character here though, lowercase E, that character there is in the remove string. So in that case, we're not gonna write the character back to the string, and j is not going to be incremented. As with every loop iteration though, i will increment. So then, during the next loop iteration, when we look at the character in the string at the index i, we'll be looking at this character here, t. Now t is not in our remove string. So in this case, we are going to write the character t back to the string at the index j. So we'll have t written here. And again, j will increment by 1, and i will increment by 1. At this point, we've reached the end of the string. And at this point, the null terminator character will be inserted at index j, which will be right here. And the new string would just be the characters l and t. So this here is a tiny example to illustrate the most important part of how the algorithm works. So this is how we can remove all the characters in a string that occur in another string using c. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.